Hey y'all, welcome to Humming Catfish. Today we're looking for pine resin to make pine resin salve. So get on your boots, grab your basket, and let's go. Pine resin is antiseptic, antibacterial, and anti-inflammatory. So it's kind of like nature's medicine. The pine trees use the sap to heal their own wounds. So we need to be very careful when we're taking any from a live tree. Take one, leave four. Now I made some of this yesterday. I didn't film it. I got back to the house and was making it and Sean said, oh, are you gonna be filming that? And I was like, no. I'm still not used to filming, you know, a lot of the different things I do. So I do kind of know where there's some, some dead pine trees with some resin in it. All right, enough talking. Let's go find some pine trees. This is a tree I was getting some resin from yesterday. It is dead, so we don't have to worry about taking too much. You can see in here where I was getting some yesterday, but there are some spots that I haven't yet gotten to. You can see right in here. It's okay if it's a little bit dirty. That'll come out when we add the castor bean oil. So I'm just going to get out my knife and get to working. We almost got enough just from this dead pine to make a whole batch. But I really wanted to show y'all how to get the sap from a live tree because uh, you're really only taking a teeny tiny bit if it's a live tree. <laughs> All right, this old man here looks like he's been through a lot. He does have a lot of pine sap in there. I'm just going to use my little knife. Just loosen up some. And this part over in here where it's already kind of crusted over, I take a little, little bit from that. All right, we could take more from this guy, but there's no reason to. We got enough from that uh, that fallen pine over there. You know, make sure that you remember that that's the tree sap, and it, it made that for its own protection from disease and stuff like that. So it's easy to forget sometimes that, you know, while you may own land, you're actually just the caretaker. Had some crazy bucks out here. All right, last one. Just gonna take a little pinch. I believe we have enough to make about eight ounces of salve. So let's get back to the house and make sure we oil our knives to get the, the sap off before we put them away. I didn't do that yesterday. I didn't know if y'all could tell. <laughs> We are back at the home place. We have our bag full of pine resin. I have the equipment that I use for doing anything with pine because it's very sticky and hard to get off. So this is the jar that's designated for pine resin. I'll be pouring the resin into that. I am using a cold pressed castor oil. I'll be adding about a half a cup of that. So let's get that mixed up and get it on the stove. I'm gonna pour the resin into this jar. And to that, I'm going to add half a cup of cold pressed castor bean oil. You can use any kind of carrier oil that you want. I just like the castor because it has extra benefits and nice and thick. Don't worry about the bark pieces and debris that's in here. After it heats up and melts together, we're going to be able to strain all of that out. And you'll be left with a nice resin that doesn't have dirt in it, but it's it's a really nice thick resin. It kind of acts as a bandage as well as a uh, healing agent. You can use a double boiler for this. Um, I'm not going to just because the pine resin is so sticky it's almost impossible to get all of it off. Instead what I'm going to be using is an old pot and three canning lid rings. I'll show you how I set that up. So take your pot and then this one fits three rings pretty good and then this is just going to set in there on it 
We're gonna fill this up with water, not all the way. It's gonna be kind of like a water bath canner. Now, if you were infusing herbs into some oil, you wouldn't want whatever container you have to make contact with the water. You would just want the steam from the water to infuse the herbs. But since we're actually melting resin, I'm not worried about the water touching the jar. What I'm gonna do is bring that to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer. Then I'm gonna be adding our jar of castor bean oil with pine resin and set it in there. Um, this is probably gonna take about three, maybe four hours to get everything melted down. You are gonna need to add water. It's not a set it and forget it kind of thing. You wanna make sure that you keep adding water. We've got that on the stove. We're gonna let that go and simmer for a couple hours. I'm gonna be checking it probably every half hour just to make sure it still has water in there. So I'll see y'all in a couple hours. Okay, that's been on there about three hours. Uh, everything looks pretty good and melted down. So what I have now is eight ounces of beeswax. First thing we're gonna do is strain the castor oil with the pine resin melted into it uh, just to get all the, all the bark and pieces like that out. I have this loose leaf tea strainer. I'm gonna put onto this mason jar that I've been using for pine type of things. Next thing we're gonna do is put the beeswax into the pine resin that has been strained. You can cut it up into smaller pieces. It just melts quicker if it's smaller. We're gonna return this over into the pan and just let that go until the beeswax melts. All right, now that we got that all melted, I'm just gonna pour this into these little four ounce containers that I have. That one pretty full and then whatever is left I will pour into this that we're going to use first now here's the ones I did from yesterday I just mark them with uh, what it is the date and then on the back side I just write what's in it pine resin castor oil and beeswax but you can see once it's dried it's a nice nice thick salve. I really think you're gonna like this. Uh, if you've ever read up on things like Neosporin, it, there's actually studies that show it's not any more helpful than just letting your skin go. But to me, something that the trees use themselves for protection, I think could do us some good too. Well, that's all I got for y'all today. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And if you like what I'm doing, I surely would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. So until next time, I'll see y'all later.